Mastraff and welcome to the final heat of Mastraff's Road Wars Endgame. Heat number 12. Also, I'm wearing my chibi little man shirt for this one. Since we have some high caliber robots here, might as well go for a high caliber shirt. Anyway, so in this final heat, we will determine the final robot to go through in this very sort of wild card series at the moment. And we'll see which robot will become the 12th. And final robot to go through to the series semi-finals. Let's find out who it's going to be. Griffin, a wedge robot, runs both ways up. Could be a possible contender this one if things don't go anyone else's way. You never can tell with Griffin. Trevor, he goes around and kicks some bots. It's Trevor. With a flipper, um, I believe it was eliminated by itself in one battle, if I remember correctly. Long time ago, though. Onis, a seed defeated by Dark Effigy last time around in the Heat Finals. Can Onis possibly replicate that this series? And Blader, with the retirement of its partner, Clora, Blader is looking to win it all right here. With a, armed with a Shremek, which can only be used once, and a spinning blade. We'll see how it does. Rod here, standby. Three, two... One, activate, and Trevor going straight for Blader, and the mosh pit begins here between all of these robots, and Trevor gets straight underneath and flips up Blader, but Blader does self right, but now that sort of streamek arm or whatever is completely stuck, and Trevor gets underneath again and lifts Blader, and that could be one of the most dangerous robots in this match. Done. Because Onis is still in this, Griffin is also still in this, and Onis is, well, spinning around right here, no surprise. Runs all the way up with the spinning killing zone. Not as good as Dragoo's killing zone, but still a killing zone nonetheless. Onis, though, has an advantage, obviously, over Dragoo's that it can be flipped and be okay. So, yeah. And something that may be shown right here. But Onis is also stuck! Ooh, but those spikes able to get it back. Onis being pushed into the side wall by Trevor. And in comes Bolganum with the claw right here. Into Onis. Onis able to escape though. So does Trevor. And Griffin pushes Trevor. Now Trevor in trouble already here. Against Onis. And a great shot from Onis to Trevor. And Griffin pushes Onis. Trevor goes and pushes the pit button. Looks like we may see a pitting right here. Because Trevor is looking on point. Onis is looking down. Onis is looking beaten right here. But wait a minute. Griffin gets underneath Trevor and pushes Trevor into the pit. Bill's now going to come in here to count out Blader. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there goes Blader. Blader is gone. And it's Onis and Griffin who go through to round two. Cease. Well, a good first round right there. I didn't think that Trevor would fall. I think it'd be. I thought. I thought it was going to be Griffin and Blader, but nope. It is going to be Griffin and Onis who go through to the next round. Now, guys, I did promise you some high-caliber robots, so um, <clears throat> let's get them in here now. Hitting the edge, a multi-time Family Rewards Tag Team Champion in two different series, MRW and Robo War. Very good lifting arm on it. Nearly beat Speed one time, I remember. The Champion of Champions runner-up. Dumb Storm, the walking red herring, has been defeated, I believe, the last six series by the eventual champion. So any robot that beats this robot is a surefire to win the series. Hammerhead, created by x -Death 8. Um, wants to be possibly the second of X-Death 8's robots to go through, alongside, of course, Shamrock, who went through earlier. And Arrowhead 2, the highest seeding left in the series. Seed number 2, beaten by Dragoo in the heat fight in the Grand Finals last time round. Rod's here, standby. 3, 2, 1, activate. Hypno Edge, strong body work. That's going to help against Hammerhead. Oh, Hammerhead! <laughs> Hammerhead caught the side of that arena, of that pit, and he's out of there already. Hammerhead's gone. Well, Hammerhead, so much power in that robot that, well, it sort of ripped itself apart. 
big surprise, really, isn't it? Anyway, Diamond Storm flips up our head too. And this could be bad for our head too, because Diamond Storm is looking looking promising here. With flips on our head too. Our head two escapes. Hypno Edge gets caught by Diamond Storm now. Diamond Storm looking for a new opponent to take on. A new opponent to beat. But uh, he's going for our head two at this point. Well, he was. Now he's going for Hypno Edge. And Hypno Edge getting caught by Diamond Storm right here, who's flipping up. Trying to get Hypno Edge possibly out of the arena or into somewhere. And Arrowhead 2 needs to watch out because seriously, he could. I believe it was Diamond Storm who beat Arrowhead 2 to win the Undisputed Legends Championship at one point. So, um, yeah, a lot, uh, lot of rivalry between these two robots here Arrowhead 2, Diamond Storm. Arrowhead 2 now lifts up Diamond Storm with a big lift. And Diamond Storm gets back in the game. Self rights in a very cool way. Very good fashion. And Hidden Edge! Oh, that would have been Hidden Edge gone, but for some reason he survives. The pit button has gone down. And Hidden Edge is going up against probably the two greatest robots to never be series champion. In Arrowhead 2 and Diamond Storm right here. I don't think you'll find a robot which deserves a series championship more than these two. Possibly Impact as well, but I'd say these two more. And Diamond Storm is looking promising here. He's only left his feet once, I believe. Low ground clearance on Diamond Storm. Hypno Edge pushed. Hypno Edge can't get up from there. Hypno Edge tries to throw right and goes in the pit for his troubles. And Diamond Storm and Arrowhead 2 qualify for round two. Cease. Well, what a battle there between Diamond Storm, Arrowhead 2, and Hypno Edge in there. And, well, I'll put it this way Hammerhead didn't really stand much of a chance after it's. Well, most of its bodywork came off. Anyway, it's now time for round two, the Heat semi-finals. And it's going to be Onis versus Arrowhead 2, but first, Diamond Storm takes on Griffin. Okay, folks, now don't count out Griffin just yet. This robot is good. But, can it beat Diamond Storm? Remember, we've seen a bunch of wild cards beat a bunch of legends before. Will we see it again? Let's find out. Robots here, stand by. Three. Two, one, activate. Since the first series, this series has seen the most amount of, uh, the most amount of, of unseeded robots going through. So, uh, possibly we could see Griffin pull a shock over Diamond Storm. If so, that means that Griffin will be the favorite to be the series champion, which doesn't sound good, but, uh, it may happen. Griffin being possibly the second robot with no weapons at all to go through and win the series. Of course, the first being Torto Terra, who was eliminated early in this series. But Diamond Storm is vowing that not to happen. Golgan trying to come in on Griffin. Griffin too quick at this point. Diamond Storm flips out Griffin. And it can end just like that. Diamond Storm with that new blood mentality. Even though it's a legend. Flips out Griffin. And ends the battle in a split second. Cease. Well, Diamond Storm with a great flip there on Griffin. Griffin was... Pretty much on the back foot throughout that entire battle. And, well, Dumb Storm picked the advantage, picked his chances, and took it. And he's going through to yet another Heat final. But who will he go up against? Will he go up against his old, uh, his old nemesis, Arrowhead 2? Or will it be the Spinning Destroyer, Onis? Remember that this is Onis's second series in MRW. Remember that uh, Onis is technically still a newbie. Still a newbie. But made it through to the Heat Finals last time around to be defeated by a reverse flipper, a front hinge flipper in Dark Effigy. Will it fall to Arrowhead 2 as well? We'll find out. Robots here, stand by. 3, 2, 1, activate. And Onis going up against Arrowhead 2 right here. Arrowhead 2 with the flipper. Again, one of the best robots in MRW, I'll tell you. Both him and Diamond Storm have had such a history against each other. Arrowhead 2. One of the longest reigning Legends Champions ever. I'll tell you, I believe with a reign of 11 months, maybe even more than that, I can't remember for the life of me, but it's been a long time that Arrowhead 2 held the title. And definitely, definitely in my opinion, the greatest Legends Champion ever was Arrowhead 2 when he won that title. And he kept it for so long, defended it on Legends after series after series. And Arrowhead 2... He's off to a good start here. Onus has not been able to get out of the blocks because he hasn't been able to get off the flipper of Arrowhead 2. Arrowhead 2 being powerful, being controlled. He's controlling the battle right here. His tempo is slow. 
But wait a minute, Otis has the advantage now. He's got Arrowhead 2 Splipper and flips up Arrowhead 2. He was on the flipper pretty much the entire thing. The flipper went too far. And I'm not sure if that flipper is still working right here. I mean, we saw it flip and self right. That was lucky. It is still working, but for how much of it, I don't know. Arrowhead 2 is probably going to need a pitting to pit Onus right here, because I can't see Onus going out of the arena to Arrowhead 2, personally. And anyway, Arrowhead 2 pushes Onus into White Lightning. It could win this via being knocked out, I guess. And Arrowhead 2 is off to a good start here with White Lightning. Arrowhead 2 flips up Onus again into Bolganon. Bolganon. Onus able to escape. After Onus' sort of battle damage robot right here, I believe that it actually can't be flipped on its side now because of this battle damage. A flip by Arrowhead 2 takes the pit button. Not off its hinges, but close. Arrowhead 2 has Onus right here, but he needs to be worried. He needs to be wary of where to put Onus, because that could happen. And Onus is okay. And the battle continues between Arrowhead 2 and Onus. And Arrowhead 2, it's low body work is going to help out against Onus right here. And Arrowhead 2, once again, piggybacks on Onus. And this could be game over for Onus right here. Arrowhead 2 has got Onus in the pit. A great tactical battle by Arrowhead 2. And Onus, again, on the back foot and could not get off the back foot. Arrowhead 2 goes through to another heat final. Cease. Well, I'll tell you what a way to round off the heat. Because we have two of the very best robots going against each other in the Heat Finals. I'll tell you, the winner of this match is going to be one of the favourites to win the series. It's Arrowhead 2 versus Diamond Storm. As I've said already, in my opinion, the two greatest MRW robots that have never been the series champion. Uh, pretty much the Hypno Disc and the Firestorm right here of this series. And well, Arrowhead 2 is more like Firestorm than people think. Robots here, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. But one of these robots in a very wild card series is going to have a big, big chance of going away with it all. And I'll tell you, I've got to put my money on Diamond Storm right here against seed number two. Because Diamond Storm has the lower ground clearance, has the powerful flipper. I'd say it's got a chance right here because Arrowhead 2's ground clearance is not as large. Might be able to use the arena to its advantage or get underneath at the back. Like it has done, Arrowhead 2. Diamond Storm needs to try and get back in this one. Self right using the flipper. But the flipper has been wedged open. And Arrowhead 2 is off to a good start right here. He's wedged Diamond Storm's flipper open. Can Diamond Storm's flipper get back in it? Yes. And does, just barely. Now here comes Diamond Storm again. And well, I'll tell you. I'd put my money on Diamond Storm. Arrowhead 2 is proving why I shouldn't. Why, why I'm not a betting man in the first place, I'll tell you. It's like trying to pick a winner for this series. You can't, because it's like, who the hell are these guys? But anyway, Diamond Storm flips and nearly flips out of the arena. He's got it now. Arrowhead 2 has gone. Out of the arena goes Arrowhead 2. And Diamond Storm, again, split second. It could be that split second that takes Diamond Storm Four more matches forward and winning the title for the first time. Cease. Well, with C2 gone, that means that both grand finalists last series have been eliminated. Which means, that I'll tell you, any seed is now a favourite. Doesn't matter how high or low. Doesn't matter if it's three, four, five, or even twenty. The seeds are the the seeds are definitely the favourites here, and Diamond Storm is no exception. As Diamond Storm goes through to yet another series. Semi-finals. Anyway, folks, that's the end of uh, MRW Series uh, 10's Heat. Uh, the scorecard will obviously be coming up next in a week or so, I believe. And then, after that, we're about to get down to the nitty-gritty. 12 robots going down to just four in a matter of two heat, in about of two weeks. And then we'll find out which of these 12 will be... The final Master Ath Rewards Champion. Anyway, that's it from me. I'm Master Ath. I'll be seeing you for MRW's scorecard. And remember, folks, you can't spell MRW without MRW. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>